What's up, YouTube? This is Groudon Empire bringing you guys Pokemon Sun and Moon Battle Spot Single Raiding Battles. That is right, they are finally here. We're only one week off, less than probably, from the release, and we are finally here on Battle Spot, courtesy of a special friend who was, be who was able to hook me up with many different Pokemon. So now I'm actually able to bring you guys content. Uh, before even a week passes. So shout outs to him, whoever he is, he does not want to be named. If you are a hype member of the Empire, a fiery hype member of the Empire, make sure to demolish, to burn up that thumbs up like button down below. Let's try to break 50 likes and I'll see how often I will upload these videos. If you are a new uh, viewer to this channel, to this video, I welcome you and I am excited and I am happy that you guys found this video and I hope you guys end up enjoying it. Uh, please remember to leave a like or a dislike. Let me know your feedback. It's really important to me. I want to know what people think, whether they like it or dislike it. Please remember to leave your feedback. And without further ado, we're just going to get right into uh, looking for battles. So a rating a battle. Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon rating battle and we're doing singles we're doing singles I'm not sure if we choose that from here uh, we'll see we'll see what happens I'll show you guys my team as well uh, this is a uh, pretty um, yeah so we're doing battle spot single battle I think the first episode will be like this all the future episodes it'll be more organized and we're going to be using a ice offense with sand slash Aurora Veil Ninetales, Parish Trap Gengar with Golisopod, Golisopod. I really want to use Golisopod. Uh, and I think it would be really cool with Parish Trap. And I'll tell you more about it as we play the games. Um, and I have a Trick Room setting Chandelure, and I have a very special Kama O set with uh, Autotomize and Z Belly Drum. You're going to see all of this in action, and uh, hopefully we can uh, do some damage because I really. I really want to uh, uh, do some serious stuff to, with this. This is going to be crazy. All right, so as you guys can see, I was playing games earlier. And, uh, you know, 50-50, I, I was just seeing some stuff. But this team was did okay. I don't know if it did good. And we find our first opponent. And what I'm going to do right now is... Uh, I know in the battle you can, there's team pre, you can see their teams, but I'm still gonna take a little picture right here, just so I can see it at all times. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to uh, pick my okay. So he does have an Age of Slash. Um, Golosapod cannot sweep because of Porygon two, so I'm just going to have to bring Kama O. So I'm gonna bring Ice Offense. Nine Tails lead Sand Slash to take uh, advantage of the of the um, ice, and Kamo -O has the Autotomize and Z Belly Drum. So hopefully that can come through. Uh, this matchup does not look too good for us at all whatsoever. But uh, eh, what can you do? That's uh, that's Pokemon for you. Um, I really really want to use Golosapod. Golosapod, freaking love Golosapod. And remember guys, uh, I can't give you guys QR codes for these teams because in January, that's when the rental teams will be uh, released. So you're going to have to wait that long before anyone can share the QR codes with you guys. But yeah, don't remember to, uh, I mean, don't, don't remember, don't forget to uh, comment down below, you know, if you have any questions regarding any of the choices, any of my plays, any of my opponent's plays that you didn't understand. Or just anything, you know, anyone from the Empire will answer you, or I'll answer, you know, depending on what, what, what goes on. Or if you just want to say something, you know, regarding the video, whether how much you liked it, how much you don't like it, how much you hated it, how much you loved it, or anything along those lines. Make sure to, I want to, I want to hear, what, I want to see what you guys got to say. I really want to uh, have you guys have some kind of discussion and... Join in on that discussion. That would be amazing. All right, so we start the battle with the hail, uh, snow warning, and he starts off with the um, Zerka tree. Now I am just gonna go for an Aurora Veil. I am eject button if he hits me first because he's scarf or something, and he is scarf. He reveals that he is scarf, uh, and he won't K KO me. He actually won't even switch out. 
Um, and I can go out into the sand slash. And uh, right now, do I outspeed? I think I outspeed. Pretty sure I outspeed. Yeah, because of eject button, he won't be able to switch. Um, so right now what I can do is I can either... Okay, so I can do one of two things. I can go for an Earthquake or I can go for Icicle Crash. I'm going to go for an Earthquake because if he brings out the Celesteela, then I'll just have to... Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. If he brings out Celesteela, I mean, I can't do anything. Um, but I will be able to KO this thing because I am faster even though it is Scarf because of the Ice Slush Rush coming in. We got Super Saiyan 3, Sub-Zero Sand Slash destroying freaking Ultra Beasts with like... Whew, do you know how much special attack Zerkistry has? That is insane. So we got Super Saiyan 3, Ice Sand Slash doing stuff. We should just call it Ice Slash, honestly speaking. But, uh, but yeah, now we got Aegis Slash. So many slashes going around. Alright, so he's just gonna KO us. So I'm just... I mean, I can Earthquake. Or I can Sword Stance. Um... I feel like going for a Sword Stance just to uh, see what's gonna happen. All right, so he does not opt to go for the. Um, he's probably gonna go for a flash cannon or a shadow ball and destroy me. You know that's that's cool. Or a sacred sword and annihilate me completely. Or a shadow. Okay, that works. He probably also has the. He's probably gonna kill me. He does have. She probably also has shadow sneak. So if he does have shadow sneak, he's gonna KO me right now. Uh, so I really have no choice but to go for. Earthquake. Um, he probably has. He definitely has Shadow Sneak, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Be, I'm. I'm gonna go down right now. So, or he can switch out. It's up to him. Or he can just King Shield and then use Shadow Sneak, which is actually better for us, I think. Yeah. No, he's just gonna Shadow Sneak. All right. All right. Sand Slash does go down. And I can bring in the Ninetales. And I can go for the uh, Aurora Veil thing, right? That's what it is? Yeah, it's Aurora Veil. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Okay, so I can go for the um, Aurora Veil. And uh, he's going to go for the King Shield. You know, that's cool. That's totally fine. Um, I just want to get damage off on the uh, this thing. Damage that is going to help me do some nice things with Kama O. I just need to be able to set up with Kama O. That is what's very, very important. Uh, he can go for the Flash Cannon and destroy me. So I don't have to worry about anything along those lines. Uh, the Aurora Veil is still up even though the... Um, the hail is gone. Again, if you have any questions regarding anything in more detail and I'm not talking to you about it, feel free to comment down below and I will uh, see if I can answer those or someone else can enlighten everyone about everything. I want to go for the uh, Dazzling Gleam because I just want to get damage off on the uh, Aegis Latch. It's unfortunate that I don't learn Will-O-Wisp or, or um, something else that like Encore or something that can really help like you know like to set like to help uh, Pokemon that faint to the Aegis to, uh, so if Ninetales could set up an Encore versus something right and it ends up fainting to it the next Pokemon can come in and then take advantage of that it's unfortunate that uh, Ninetales does not learn Encore but we bring in the Kamo O and right now what I can do is I can go for, all right, so I have to go for an Atomize. Like I have no choice. Cause if he has Garchomp in the back or if he has the um, Tapu Lele, I'm done. So I have to, wait, yeah, I have to. Uh, 
I think Garchomp KOs me even through Aurora Veil, like over 50% damage uh, if I use Z Belly Drum, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I hope that this individual goes for uh, King's Shield, thinking I'm going to Dragon Dance up and that he knows he can't KO me with anything, so he's just going to wait until Aurora Veil goes away. And that would be amazing because then I can set up the uh, Belly Drum and sweep, and it would be fantastic. He can just go for Flash Cannon alternatively. Hopefully that doesn't crit or do too much damage. And he does not know about the Bulletproof. We are in fantastic position to just win this entire game. Z Belly Drum. Oh my goodness, we are doing this the first game. We are doing this the first game. I, I see my character uh, doing all these fancy moves. Normalium, uh, Normalium Z, is that what it's called? All right, we got the Z belly drum, all right. Okay, I see this monk dragon monster thing. All right, it, it, it got max attack. All right, all right, let's do this. We just got a Shadow Claw and we win. We Shadow Claw, we win. If he has a Porygon too, that's fine because we can just Brick Break. We brick break everything and we win. Except if he has a focus sash Garchomp or a focus sash Tapu Lele. If he has any of those two, we pretty much we're gone. We're done. We just we're just done. But uh, hopefully he doesn't. He might actually he might actually have the uh, okay. He has the Porygon too. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um. I will brick break the uh, Porygon 2 and it will get KO'd Brick 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 He can just switch out back into um, Aegis Slash in all honesty but he won't uh, if he did I would have been in a lot of trouble a lot like a lot <laughs> a lot of trouble I think a plus 4 Shadow Claw can take down an 8 slash. I'm not completely sure, but I do know a flash cannon annihilates me. So I don't want to take my chances um, with the King Shield. He he did reveal King Shield earlier, if I remember correctly. Hold on. Can we see movesets? No, we can't. Uh, that's fine. Um, Alright, so uh, I can go for the Shadow Claw, but he might King Shield me. But I feel like I can still KO it at plus 4. Hopefully? Hopefully. I'm hoping. Plus, we can get a critical hit anyway, so I have to do this because if he sh if he flash cannon me, then what would I do? I wouldn't be able to do anything. Uh, it's 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 really interesting. Yeah. So people don't know abilities yet, so that's why they didn't he didn't know he has bulletproof. Otherwise, he would have went for flash cannon. Would have been in a much better situation for him. Now, right now, I need to hope that the shadow claw does crit. It's the only way I'm gonna be able to do this. He gets a double king shield. Well, I need to I need to get the crit. I need to get the crit. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. He gets the double king shield. Hey, hey, I can't do anything about that. Someone can probably run a calc and see what would have happened to that uh, Aegis Slash. Um, oh, man. That Aegis Slash would have been done even without... At plus four, Shadow Claw would have annihilated Aegis Slash. But he got the double king shield. It's alright. It's alright. That's that's Pokemon, you know. Things happen. Things happen. Things happen. Alright, so uh huh. The first the sand slash mistake, I should have just went for Earthquake, but then the thing is he could have had a Celesteela or something with him, right? So I don't blame myself. Aegis Slash does 50-50s like that, right? Now, if this last King Shield thing, I mean, my opponent got the 50% thing going for him. So, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, um, not going to worry about that because that's, that was a 50-50, whether he got the King Shield, he didn't get the King Shield. And earlier, you know, the, whether he would King Shield versus the Sand Slash 
or not, right? So I'm not going to worry about that. So we do end up losing the first game on camera, but that's okay because you guys saw it was literally 50 uh, 50. So it's fine. I I'll take that. I take that. If I'm losing because of 50 50 and not because of. Okay, so I will be back after a short little cut because I, I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just pressing A again and again. <laughs> All right, and we are back. I just finished that game again. It was just me. I just used Goal as a pod, and I just pressed Leech Life, uh, Leech, uh, Leech Life, and then Liquidation two times in a row. So that's all that game was. But uh, but yeah, this is this is just one week into the uh, battle spot, um, into the life of the game. So you're gonna find situations like you're gonna find some opponents like that. Uh, so uh, it's at least I was able to get some points off of that because uh, eh, I don't know it's cool free points are nice right <laughs> I like free points but yeah um, about that last game so in hindsight perhaps I should have just went for the earthquake and sword stance later but uh, eh, it's fine it's fine I mean the uh, and we are looking for an opponent, and we find an opponent. Awesome. All right. So again, as always, I'm just gonna take a little screen cap of their team. Again, I know there is the team preview. Uh, I just, I just use this because I don't know. I get, I see the team right in front of me. You don't have to press a button. I can just think all of that jazz. And sometimes you actually can't see the team. Like when you're trying to switch Pokemon out after your Pokemon faints, you can't actually see their team. So that's why I still take a picture. Anyway, so looking at their team, uh, Mimikyu, Mimikyu uh, is a pain for Trick Room. Really is. Uh, also, that Primarina and the Tapu Fini. Yeah, uh, Golosapod cannot do anything. This is basically Nine Tails Ice Offense again. Um, except. Oh my god, Prime Arena and Tapu Fini? Come on. Come on, man. I can't even do anything to this team. I cannot even do anything. Well. I can't do anything to this team because of those two fairies, those two water fairies. Goal is the pot is walled. And uh, Kamo O is destroyed, right? Because, you know, fairies, four times effective. And uh, Sand Slash doesn't have Iron Head. Even if it did, it wouldn't destroy them. But I mean, I mean, I could have given my Sand Slash Iron Head, I guess. No, Rock Slide, I feel, is more important. Um, I feel like I won a game earlier versus a high ranking opponent uh, because I had Rock Slide. Whereas Iron Head, I don't really see much use of it for the most part. Uh, right now, I'm just going to go for the um, Blizzard because... And we see a 2 Cannon, by the way. Uh, I freaking love 2 Cannon. I don't have a team with 2 Cannon. There's just so much new Pokemon and just so many things going on. I just... And, you know, making teams on your own is also... Oh, we get the freeze! We get the freeze! That poor, poor 2 Cannon is just going to... Uh, poor 2 Cannon. Poor 2 Cannon. I really wanted to toucan. I really wanted to see it do something. Um, it probably would have rock blasted and uh, destroyed Nine Tails. Probably. Uh, that's unfortunate for the. T that's unfortunate. Anyhow, uh, this turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the the uh, Aurora Veil because he is going to shell smash up and. Uh, after he lowers his defenses, then I'll go for the 100% uh, accurate blizzard and hopefully also the sash will probably also be broken by the hail and then I can just destroy it uh, guaranteed because now he has lower special defense or he can attack me but I think yeah I think yeah because defense down form does not have any offense really like has base 60 offense or something along those lines I think I can still like survive any attack and just destroy it with uh, Blizzard. Wait, wait a second, wait a second. Yeah, 
I was gonna say, not a critical hit, because then the Aurora Veil just boop, it's just gone. But that's fine, that's fine because now I can bring in my Sand Slash. I can bring in my Sand Slash, and I can be greedy, and I can go for a Sword Stance. I can do that, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to do that because I think it's risky. Because, actually, I don't know what, wait a second. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like it's, is it risky? When will the, okay, when will the ice go away? Ice goes away next turn, so I might as well just destroy this thing right now. Uh, because if ice goes away, then I'm not fast. So then it doesn't matter what's in the back, I don't think. So, so yeah, Minior does go down. We don't get to see its uh, rock pop form, but we did get to see uh, a trade of low chance probability things going on. So I got my freeze versus a poor two cannon. You know, I'd rather see the two cannon survive than see a critical hit from the Minior, just because Minior, I want to see it in the shell out form, you know? And two cannon, I really want to see two cannon, what it can do. But it's fine right now, a ghost fairy. Um, I'm gonna go for the earthquake this first turn. I feel like we die. I feel like we die to this thing. Oh my god, I feel like we, Mimikyu destroys us. Wait, no, 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 we're, we're good. Uh, I think we're faster than Mimikyu, I really hope. Like, not Sand Slash, I hope Kamo O is faster. Otherwise, Play Rough will absolutely anni annihilate us. Okay, um, this, this does not look good. <laughs> this does not look good at all. I'm just going to keep going for Earthquakes because it doesn't miss. Or should I go for Icicle Crash? I mean, alternatively, I can go for the Icicle Crash. Or I can go for the Earthquake. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake because I want to get guaranteed damage off. See, yeah, exactly. I don't know if he has Substitute. I don't know how many. This does not look good. I need to keep destroying. I need to constantly destroy this thing. This Pokemon is going to get rid of our Aurora Veil. That's going to be really bad. Unless he doesn't have speed investment. Then, as long as I break the sub, I should be fine. Wait a second. Never mind. I, I don't have Light Clay. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, so... I think we lose this unless we can break this thing's sub again and again and again. Oh man. Well, this comes down to, again, uh, uh, chance, uh, low chance based, um, low chance based uh, mechanics. That is Pokemon at the end of the day though. You always have low chance based mechanics doing things. I got the freeze first turn versus my favorite, one of my favorite Pokemon. I wish I could see it do something. And then that mini in return got a, uh, uh, a weak critical hit, but a critical hit nonetheless that broke the Aurora Veil. And then right now it's going to be up to whether I get full, fully parrot or not. That's all of these things. I don't even know what would happen. See, you can't even think of Pokemon without taking these. And then you saw 50-50s with the Aegis Slash. So really, when you think of Pokemon, you can't just not think of these low chance things happening. Whether I get a freeze, whether I don't get a freeze, whether I get fully parrot like right now or I don't. Uh, you need to like account for these. You can't just not account for these. So I do get fully powered. Um, he does go for the Shadow Claw. I hope I survive. I can survive. Okay, yeah, I can survive. Hope I don't get fully powered again. Um, is he what? what, what? Shell though. Oh, I do. Oh my God. It's okay. I got the freeze on the two cannon. It's all right. I take it. I'll take that. I'll take that for getting the freeze on two cannon. I just hope he doesn't crit me, please. Please don't crit me. Don't kill me. Don't destroy Sand Slash. Awesome, awesome. Please Sand Slash. Pull through. Please Sand Slash. You only have one thing you gotta do. Pull through. Pull through. Alright. Nice. Awesome. Beautiful. And, uh... If my opponent had Leftovers instead of Shell Bell, we would have been gone a long time ago. But, uh, my opponent doesn't. So, um... If you're running this Mimikyu set, it's a very interesting set, by the way. Uh, I would rather run something else, but still it's interesting, nonetheless, because you can get a free Thunder Wave off because of Disguise. 
Uh, I would hopefully, first of all, hopefully I'm faster. Second, secondly, uh, don't run shell bell, run leftovers or, or something along those lines. Don't run uh, shell bell. Okay, along those lines, run leftovers if you're gonna run a set like this, because uh, that's much, much better. Right now I'm just gonna go for the shadow claw. Wait, shadow claw. Yeah, shadow claw, and hopefully I'm out speed, and hopefully. All right, so we outspeed and we take care of this uh, Mimikyu. So Alolan Ninetales came to play. It froze that gorgeous, gorgeous Toucan, Toucan, Toucan Sam. He's got froze. He just got frozen right on his tracks. Poor, poor Toucan, man. I really love that Toucan. I wish it could do something. I wish it did something in that game because um, I don't have a team with it yet. Uh, it's gonna take me a while. If I can even build a team with that, uh, using that thing, and even if I do build a team with it, uh, actually getting the team in my hands is going to take another long while. Because sure, I do have that friend of mine who can help me out, but look, man, if you have a friend that you would love to help out, you gotta you gotta keep things real. You can't help 24/7. You know, you can't do that. So, and even asking for that, it just feels really bad. But anyhow, I don't know what this is the third battle, right? Totem Pokemon theme, 15-15 rating opponent. I don't even know what points we have. That's all right. This is going to be the last battle of this video. Okay, never mind. Um, I will be back. Wait, actually, actually, yeah, I'll be back after this because there's two. Nah, you know what? I'll show it. I'll show this battle because uh, it does have four level 50s. And it does have a ditto. And Ditto is a monster, so even if it's level 33, again, it's a monster because it'll, it'll have low HP, but it can still do stuff. So uh, this is a legit team. Um, okay, not legit. Okay, well, it's still a threatening team is what I'm trying to say. All right, so Golisopod is a monster. My own Golisopod can deal with that. Actually, yeah, no, my Kama O and Prime Arena, I can't use Golisopod. Okay, so right now, I guess I'm just using Kama O in all of my games, but that's okay because I will bring Golisopod in the next uh, video that I use with this team, hopefully. All right, so Ninetales, Sand Slash. Oh man. Oh boy. And Kama O? My bad, sorry. Golisopod? Oh man. Kama O. I was wondering, I'm scared. I'm scared because that ditto can just annihilate us. But uh, you know, that's Pokemon, we'll see, we'll see what, what we can do. All right, so uh, this is week one battle spot and uh, you're gonna have opponents like this. But at the same time, you also have opponents that have a lot of points on the ladder. So uh, when we go up versus those guys, I can't wait. Um, that would be very, very interesting. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go for the Aurora Veil because I pretty much need it. Pretty much need the Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil. Hopefully, my opponent. I don't think Primary can learn. Uh, wait. Yeah. Um, I hope my opponent doesn't go. F well, actually, if I want, yeah, I would rather have my opponent go for the Special Z move right now rather than later because I don't want Sand Slash to just, you know, get destroyed, right? Now I want to bring out the Sand Slash and I have four turns What I want to do right now is I'm going to go for the Sword Stance because it'll save me future turns if necessary. And then what I can do is I can go for the earthquake. I can destroy this thing. If I had, if I, hopefully, I don't know if it can get destroyed by a one hit KO, but hopefully something good can happen. Uh, if he does have the uh, sand slash, that is still okay. Well, actually, no, it's not. My bad, sorry, not the sand slash. If he has the ditto, I'm scared of the ditto because that ditto can annihilate me. That ditto is going to annihilate me. And he does go for the Z move. But you know what? Hey, I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. So he's gonna go for the Z move. Let's just watch this bad boy.
Don't die. Don't die. Come on, you can do it. All right. Awesome. 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 Good job, Sand Slash. I freaking love you. All right. So let's let's see what we can do right now. Uh, earthquake. 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 Does the most damage. And hopefully you go down. Please, Prime Arena, you have to go down. Please go down. Hey, look, we have 1523 points. Um, all right, so he does go for the Aqua Jet. Unless he gets a critical hit, that's not gonna. Okay, awesome, awesome. Hopefully, hopefully it goes down. Please go down, please go down. Uh, Nice, nice, nice. Was that a critical hit? No, it was not a critical hit. Nice. Sand Slash is putting in work. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we have two more turns left with Life Orb Recoil. Oh. 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 This thing. Okay, how many Auroraville turns do we have left? Because, so we have two more. Shoot, this is bad. This is actually bad. No, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just gonna go for the uh, rock slide. He's gonna kill me with first impression. Or, you know, he won't destroy, wait, never. He avoided the attack, okay. All right, so he probably has sucker punch or something as well. Well, as I told you guys in the last game, uh, Pokemon has a lot of uh, low chance probability things that can occur and just change the tide of games up. <sighs> Ooh, Mudsdale. Or Muds, yeah, Mudsdale. Alright, nice. Nice switch on my opponent's part. That still did massive damage. And I'm going to faint from Life Orb, oh my god. If we got that rock slide, we would have been in fantastic position because that would have done so much damage. But you know what? It's okay. That's this game. <laughs> That's the game we love. That's the game we play. You have to, you have to make sure to uh, capitalize on everything as much as possible. When you get the low chance things going for you, when you get them going against you, you got to make sure to do whatever you can do. So right now I want to go for the blizzard because I'm pretty sure Mudsdale faints. Actually no, I want to go for Auroraville. And then next turn I'm going to go for the blizzard. Uh, I am afraid, but... Yeah. Oh my goodness, he has Heavy Slam. He just annihilated us. He got a critical hit as well. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't think Mudsdale is that heavy. So with Aurora Veil, I think I still survive. Not the most sure on that one. Good thing is, right now, I don't need to worry about setting up a Totemize. All I can do, all I need to do is set up a Z Belly Drum and we win. Because I'm faster than both. I'm faster than both of the next, of, of this thing and the other Pokemon that he has in the back. So my opponent did their Z move, we're gonna do our Z move now. Alright, let's get it. Let's get it. Kamo O the monster. This monster dragon monk. Got that belly drum going. Hopefully my opponent does not Oh boy, counter. I was about to say, hopefully our opponent does not crit us. Because if they critical hit us this turn, uh I think because that thing is so strong, it would probably just KO us through the Aurora Veil. Definitely would. Alright, so right now I just, I just brick break and I win? Oh my goodness, man. The Golisopod in the back is a serious, serious problem. But wait, no. I, I That Golisopod is not a problem. I have Aurora Veil up and I wall that thing. Whether he uses Sucker Punch, a Bug Attack, a Water Attack, a Rock Attack. <laughs> he, the only thing he can do is like a Normal type move or like a Poison type move. And with Aurora Veil, I'm going to like survive them pretty much. Pretty sure. 
So I'm gonna go for the Shadow Claw right now because Brick Break is resisted by bug types. And I think we have this in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. So my opponent didn't bring the Ditto. In all honesty, I think my opponent could have just, I don't know, won actually if they brought the Ditto. So that's why I decided not to skip this battle. Um, because if my opponent brought the Ditto, they would have just, uh, they could have copied my uh, Sand Slash or copied my Kama O or something along those lines and I would have just got destroyed. Or at least it would be a 50 50, you know what I mean? Um, if he copied my Sand Slash, I would have just got destroyed, I think. Because Earthquake, well, again, 50 50, but still, uh, my opponent would have had a serious chance. Uh, but that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, don't forget if you liked it, if you did not like it, please remember to click that like button or that dislike button, respectively. And please uh, be involved in the community, in the discussion. Uh, leave your comments down below and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this stuff and you're excited for more Battle Spot single Pokemon. Pokemon Sun and Moon. I did get 1941 in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so uh, that's a pretty high rating if you've ever seen a high rating. So hopefully you're hyped for future Sun and Moon content. This is Groudon Empire. Peace out.